Hey everyone, John Asraf here, and welcome to Change Your Brain, Change Your Income. So if you are ready um, to really break free and you know take this next you know three months, six months, twelve months of your life and really shatter your financial glass ceiling, we're gonna have a really great time. I want to start off with making sure that we're on the same page of what is money real. As I travel the world. People seem to have this elusive relationship with money and you know there's such an abundance of it. I just want to give you a little framework for what money really is from the way that I learned about it many many years ago. If you go back in time, you know, when we were living in small little villages um, and we really didn't need to exchange anything with each other, uh, we didn't. We just did work and everybody shared whatever the booty was, whatever the things that, you know, the tribe uh, got. But as tribes started to divide and the people started moving further away from each other, whether it's in small little villages, um, we started to exchange things. We started to um, change seashells, livestock. Uh, and then when people started to move a little bit further away and values of things became uh, known to people, then we placed a value on different things. And that was the beginning of our monetary system. It was really a way to exchange one bit of value for another. And we created the, you know, this paper um, to represent money when we started to move away from each other uh, in greater distances because the coins were too heavy, the livestock was too heavy to travel with. And so uh, when you think about the real essence of money, right? Uh, today we use electronic means, credit cards, debit car cards, and we just transfer money through a variety of different means from one bank account to another. When somebody gives you X, you give them Y in the form of currency. And so from a perspective of money in all of its form, uh, first and foremost, it's totally abundant. Trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars in circulation. Um, you know, God knows how much value in real estate uh, that's uh, uh, around the world. So there's no shortage of money. So the problem isn't that there isn't enough money. There's something else at play uh, if you're not getting your share or more than fair share. Would you agree with that? If you agree with what I just said, do me a favor, just give me a little note, all right, so I can see your comments uh, in the chat right now. Uh, hi, NECA, hi, Paz, hi, Corey. Uh, right, so somebody says money is energy. Yeah, everything is energy, so money must be energy, and energy is uh, abundant. So, so the premise, right, that money is nothing more than a means of exchange between people, tribes, companies, or countries um, is the first premise of money. So the key for every one of you is how do I get into this you know, trade where I can earn more money, I can invest better, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the first thing that you have to recognize from a, a neuroscience and neuropsychology perspective is it all starts with this belief that money is abundant and it's around everywhere. It's around every part of you and there's absolutely no shortage of money. Would you agree with that? If you agree with that, then just let me know in the chat. One of the ways you can connect with me and really stay focused uh, and have fun is interact with me so I could see your comments. Uh, that's what actually drives me. So um, since I can't see you sitting on my sofa or in my office here right now, then connect with me um, you know, by answering my question. So um, here's the first thing that I wanna share. There's three sections that I wanna share with you tonight, okay? Uh, tonight, only because it's five o'clock in San Diego. Um, but what I wanna do is make sure that we start off with what is your money mindset? And what I've discovered is that there are four types of money mindset. People will fit into these categories. One of these categories, maybe a couple of them. Uh, it'd be interesting to um, to know which one you fit into. So the first category, all right, um, is the scarcity mindset. And for whatever reason, we'll talk about this in just a moment, there may be um, a belief system or a mindset where you believe that there's not enough or there's not enough for you or your family, all right? If that's you, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I wanna show you how to get to this next level uh, or the one after that or the one after that. And that's the security mindset and that you, know, you work, uh, you make 
uh, enough, uh, you pay the bills, uh, you have security and you're focusing on enough. And there's just enough. There's maybe a little bit extra for some things, but not you know, a lot extra. So scarcity number one. Um, security number two. Uh, what about a success-minded person? Success-minded person feels like there is always enough. There's no shortage. There may be some highs and lows and ups and downs, but there's always enough. It's not because there isn't enough. And then there is the fourth mindset, which is what I love to help my students get to, is to go from scarcity to security to success to significance. And this is where there's more than enough for you, your family, uh, but also for you to utilize the money to be able to do more good in the world, whether it's your charitable contributions, whether it's taking time you know, away from work so you can write a book or help other people or your family, this is where it becomes really fun. So I'm, I'm really curious, what level do you want to be in in your life? What level do you want to be in your life? Type it in right now. Is it scarcity, security? Is it success, significance? Which one, which one? Um, and sometimes uh, we just need to be aware of where we are in order to say, do I wanna to get to the next level? And I hope that wherever you are, um, you, know, you wanna to get to the next level because that's what tonight is all about or today depending on where you are. The thing that um, a lot of the neuroscience research is really pointing to right now is something called your hidden money story. And so many of you know that there's two different types of stories that you tell yourself. One is the, you know, the story you tell yourself with, you know, with your friends and your family and your goals and your dreams. But then there's the hidden money story that's the hidden self-talk. And I always say that there's a conscious story you tell yourself filled with your hopes and dreams and prayers and what I call are your ex explicit statements. But then there's a subconscious story that's really driving your perspective. It's driving your behaviors. It's driving your expectation points. Would you agree with that? That there's the conscious part of what you desire, what you want, what you say, what you talk about. But then there is another part that is the disempower critical self, the negative self-talk, the self-saboteur that sometimes gets in the way of your conscious money story. Would you agree with that? Yes or no? Which one? Um, all right, so we're on the same page right now. Um, and so here's the thing that you want to start becoming really, really aware of is your subconscious money story is what reveals your conditioning and programming around money. So we use our conscious brain, right? We use our conscious brain to choose, to talk, to say things, to make promises, to set goals. But our subconscious money story is what's really revealed because of our behaviors and the inner critic that keeps holding us back. And we're going to dive a little bit more into this right, you know, right now. And so what you have to remember is your money story is not your current income or your expenses, your assets, debt, or your net worth. Your financial results are nothing more than the effects of your hidden money story. So the amount of income you make, the type of home you live in, the type of car you drive, the amount of money you give to charity or time that you give to charity, the uh, amount you tip, the uh, kind of clothes you buy. Every single day you're making decisions as a result of your subconscious and in most cases hidden money story because you've just become so accustomed to making those decisions. Does that make sense and do you agree with that? It's not the knowledge you accumulate, and certainly it's not your wants and needs. But what I am suggesting here is that your hidden money story is really what's driving the behaviors and the perspectives and the effects called your results. Are we in agreement? Yes or yes. All right. So I say yes, yes, yes. I say yes, I agree 100%. Yes, that makes sense. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So as we you know, discover some more things tonight. When we have conscious goals and dreams, but we have subconscious 
stories that we tell ourselves about what money means to us, what we can afford or not afford, what we can do or not do, that is really what's driving the show. And I'm going to share with you something in just a little bit called neural dissonance. And that's when your conscious brain and your subconscious brain are not aligned. What you have to remember is if you've been conditioned and programmed to believe that it's really hard to earn money or it's hard to have a lot more money in abundance than you currently have, is it possible that this belief will create the expectations, this belief will create the behaviors, and this belief will um, create your reality, right? Is it possible, all right? And one of our guests is asking, how can you be aware of that which you are not aware of, called your subconscious? You take a look at your results, your results never lie, and they're driven 99% by your subconscious, right? And so, if your beliefs create your expectations and behaviors in reality uh, and formulate parts of your money story, you have to remember that it's your beliefs that will cause you to think, feel, and behave in ways that match the beliefs. Does that make sense? Your beliefs will always cause you to think, feel, and behave in ways that match the beliefs. And I'm talking about your subconscious beliefs. I'm talking about your imprint, your imprinted, deeply rooted beliefs. They're called implicit beliefs. The beliefs that you and I have where we're asked, you know, do you think you can make more money? And you say, well, of course I can make more money. Do you think, you know, that you're smart enough? Well, of course I think I'm smart enough. Well, guess what? That's called an explicit belief. But if you have implicit belief that are tied to your money story that aren't as empowering as they should be, you will always, always, always feel and behave in ways that match the implicit beliefs. And so the question is, where did your conditioning come from? Where did your beliefs come from? Right? And the answer is when we were in our early years, when we were modeling our parents, when our parents' beliefs were imprinted on us, when our teachers you know, told us the expectations of different jobs or different careers, we went through these imprinting and modeling years and exploration years, and this is where we started to develop all of our beliefs around money. And what happens is most people have a, uh, a fight going on between their conscious goal-seeking desires and their subconscious. And when they don't work together, there is something called neural chaos that works. And you have one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake. And if you want to know whether this is happening to you, um, A, you may already know that's what happens to me because I have goals and dreams, financial and lifestyle ones that I'm not achieving on an ongoing basis. Um, because if you were achieving them on an ongoing basis, I guarantee you wouldn't be on this call unless you really wanted to make some, some huge uh, um, strides forward. And so what you want to be taking a look at is whenever you have goals that you don't achieve, there's something happening underneath the surface. I'm going to share with you the four obstacles in just a moment that could get in your way. All right, so, so when your conscious mind is used, right, to choose your goals and dreams. You're using the deductive reasoning and your imagination centers properly, the creative center of your brain. But most people forget that setting goals happens in the conscious part of their brain and achieving goals happens because of what's conditioned and programmed in the subconscious part of your brain. Does that make sense? Please tell me that you know, what I'm sharing with you makes sense to you. What I want to do is I want to give you the tools to understand what's going on. I'll give you some tools on how to eliminate it so you can make it a hell of a lot better, right? So when your subconscious is driving most of your decisions and behaviors, the real key is to understand how do I get back into the subconscious, the programming that's happened in my subconscious over the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years and how do I reprogram the subconscious mind so that I can create what we call is coherence between the conscious and the subconscious mind, 
right? So your subconscious, I mentioned before, is where your implicit beliefs are. And implicit beliefs are the deeply rooted, long-held beliefs that at a subconscious level you believe are true, even though at a conscious level you'd like to have different beliefs. All right, and if your financial goals and your subconscious beliefs and habits and your emotions don't align with each other, you will be frustrated. You will end up doing you know, a few days or weeks of really great work and then you'll sabotage your success or you'll procrastinate or you'll have great ideas and you'll want to take action but you start to rationalize your way out of taking action and doing what is necessary to achieve your goals. Now, I want somebody to type this out. Rationalization just means rational lies. When you rationalize, you're telling yourself all the reasons, stories, and excuses of why you can't, why you shouldn't. Maybe I don't want a nicer home. Maybe I don't want to travel business class. Maybe I don't need a new car. Maybe I don't need to eat in those fancy restaurants. You know, I'm just fine doing what I'm doing. Whenever you catch yourself in disempowering self-talk that talks you out of what it is that you want to achieve, it is your subconscious mind keeping you in a homeostasis state. What does that mean? It means in your comfort zone. The brain that you and I have that's been evolving for billions of years, right, operates on a hierarchy of security and survival first. So security in the brain means comfort zone. You can be miserable and comfortable. You can be broke and comfortable. So first is safety for your life, but second is security and comfort zone. Third is to conserve energy, and fourth is to gain pleasure and to do what is needed in order to achieve your goals, right? So what you have to just be really aware of is if your brain's not working in alignment, in coherence, in harmony with, with conscious and subconscious mind, you are going to sabotage your success no matter what. And this is why lottery winners okay, that win the lottery, 87% of them lose all the money within two or three years, and they say it's the worst thing that ever happened to them. Not losing the money, actually winning the money was the worst thing that ever happened to them. Does this make sense to you? Again, if you understand the neuromechanics of what's actually causing your perceptions, what's actually causing your emotions, and what's actually causing, okay, your behavior, that's what you need to be focusing on if you want to start reprogramming your subconscious mind, all right? So I see Monique says yes, and some other people are saying yes. Peter says yes. Thank you for writing out rational lies. All right, thanks, Veronica, also. And so, uh, so somebody just said, ah, that's why I always regain weight after reaching a certain number. Absolutely. I, I want to take a sidebar for a moment before I get into the four hidden obstacles that can hold you back. If you think about how a thermostat works in your car or in your home, once you set the thermostat to a certain temperature, there's something in the thermostat called a cybernetic mechanism. And anytime there's more heat in the room or cold air in the room that's different than what the set temperature is, a cybernetic mechanism kicks in and turns on the either the air or the heat in the furnace through the electrical system. Well, what happens with us humans when we have a certain financial set point, whether it's making 30,000 a year or 50,000 or 100,000 or even 500,000, any time that we're higher or lower than the set point, the financial set point, our brain's cybernetic mechanism kicks in and then we start to rationalize and self-sabotage or we start to work harder. This is why when people who are wealthy lose their money in very short order, they already know the thoughts, emotions, beliefs, and behaviors that got them to be wealthy, so they immediately go to work to regain their money. You want some proof of that? Many of you are firmly aware of the recession that we had in the year 2008-2009 timeframe. Just last week, a report came out that the richest 20% of those people, the people who had the most money, 
who lost a lot of money, the richest 20% not only have made all of their money back in the last 10 years, but they made an additional 58% on top of that just in the last 10 years, whereby the bottom 80% are still struggling and still can't figure out how to make that money work. Now, why is that? And the answer is because if you are conditioned to earn money, if you are programmed to earn a certain amount of money, you can't not earn that money and make progress from there. Does that make sense? If you took all of the money in the world, all of it, put all the gold in, in all the airplanes in the world, all the money, all the coins, all the dollars, all the liras, all the, every currency in airplanes right now, and you had planes fly up all over the world and just release it all over the world. It doesn't make a difference if it was over the Amazon, if it was over uh, China, if it was over Antarctica, Alaska, anywhere in the world. Just drop all the money in the world. You know what would happen? Regardless of who picked it up, it would end up back in the hands of the people who had it to begin with. Okay, money has species recognition. People who know how to make money, people who believe that they're worthy of making more money, make more money. And we become conditioned to the business revenues we make or the, um, the income we achieve at our jobs. And then anytime there's a deviation up or down from what we are conditioned to achieve, our brain kicks in and either gets us to put the jets on and do whatever is necessary until we hit that number or we lose the money until we're at our baseline of conditioning. Does that make sense? Let me see. I've got a wow, I believe it. Um, Psycho-cybernetics, yes, this is in the same realm of psychocybernetics, there are neural networks and circuits in your brain that turn on or off, whether it's the motivational circuit, whether it's the motor cortex to take action, whether it's the imagination circuit, all of these circuits turn on or off based on what you have become conditioned to think, feel, behave, and achieve. If that makes sense, Say, John, this makes sense. So I've got a yup, I've got a yes, I get yes, I believe. And then Monique says, I've seen the same thing. That's why regardless of who disagrees with me regarding getting this right, taking the approach can go to hell. <laughs> Sounds coherent, explains a lot. Okay, so let's get into a little bit deeper work on really understanding what may be holding you back. Listen, there aren't 10 or 20 things that are holding you back. Just now, we finished... Uh, agreeing, I believe, that it's your subconscious programming, okay, that is keeping you stuck at your current level of income, regardless of what that is. It's not good, it's not bad, but it just may not be what you want. So number one, you have to reprogram your subconscious mind. That is step one in all of this equation, no matter what. Not doing that is really just then relying on hope and prayer. And I suggest you reprogram your subconscious mind and add hope and prayer as opposed to using hoping and praying as your core strategy because hopium is the drug of choice for most people, my friend. So let's talk about the four hidden obstacles. Can anybody guess what the first one of the four hidden obstacles is? What do you think one of the hidden obstacles is for you? And not only am I going to share with you what it is, I'm going to give you a couple of little techniques in a, in a couple of minutes on how to eliminate it. All right, so will there be a replay? I think my team's arranged for a replay. All right, so, all right, so, so Carolyn says fear, Brian says fear. I don't deserve it, fear. Limiting beliefs says Cindy. Let's see if you're all on the, on the right track. So lack of skills and creativity. Procrastination is an effect, Joseph. Self-sabotage is an effect. Self-doubt is an effect. Limiting beliefs, anxiety beliefs. You're all on the right vein. So I think it was Cindy that was the first to say limiting beliefs. So there's four different things. I'm going to cover limiting beliefs right now. How many of you have a core limiting belief that's holding you back? Limiting beliefs like, I don't have the skills to double my income or to make 50% more income. I don't have the tools or resources. 
I don't have, you know, the time. I don't have the money. I'm too young. I'm too old. I'm too Asian. I'm too Caucasian. I'm too tall. I'm too short. Is it possible that your limiting belief, one or two or three of them, is it possible that your limiting belief is causing you to think and behave below the level that you could be and probably want to be playing at? Is it possible? So remember earlier I suggested and shared that from a neuroscience perspective, you have two types of beliefs. One is explicit that you can declare and talk about, but one is implicit that you've been conditioned at the subconscious level through years and years of repetition and emotion and experience and you have enough evidence for it because your results match it. So if a limiting belief okay, is holding you back, right? A limiting belief is holding you back. What about this one right over here, okay? Now, this slide, and I'll tell you how to deal with limiting beliefs in just a moment, but uh, for, for just a moment, the limiting beliefs are nothing more. Somebody write this down for me and for everybody else. A limiting belief is nothing more than a reinforced brain pattern or neural network as scientists like to call it, a neural network. Now, when you were born, were you born with any beliefs? No. You develop those beliefs based on your environment, your parents, your teachers, your experiences, as we mentioned earlier. And from a neuroscience perspective, all that means is that cells in your brain connected, got reinforced, and then they became part of your subconscious mind, which then causes you to have these limiting beliefs and think, feel, and behave in those terms, okay? Thank you to somebody who wrote down limiting belief is not more than a brain pattern or neural network. So limiting beliefs is number one on my list. It's not mutually exclusive to itself, but it's number one on my list of one of the hidden obstacles that holds people back because even when you have big goals and dreams, if you have limiting beliefs, imagine driving a car and having one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake. How far do you think you're gonna go? You're gonna be making a lot of noise, you're gonna be busy, 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 but you're not gonna be getting very far. Limiting beliefs are the brakes, one of the brakes on your financial life and your success. All right, so the next part is your self-image and self-worth. So I want you to imagine this. I want you to imagine that consciously, okay, you're talking to friends, okay, you're, you're sitting at a coffee shop, you're sitting at a restaurant or having a glass of wine with some friends and you start to dream together and you start to, you know, to say, God, it would really be nice to fill in the blank. Share with me what's one thing that you would love to do, but you may not feel okay, that you deserve it. What if you want to earn a lot of money, but you don't feel like you deserve to earn a lot of money? What if you feel like you're nothing special? What if you feel like you're really not worthy of the lifestyle or the home or the income or career that you really want? What would happen? Do you think that your conscious goals and dreams would become a reality? Or do you think your conscious goals and dreams would just be dreams and goals in your head? I want you to, somebody write this down, okay? This is one of the greatest lessons I ever learned. Your self-image and your self-worth will not allow you to earn more than what you are conditioned and expect to earn at the subconscious level. Let me repeat that. Your self-image and self-worth, which is part of your subconscious programming, will never allow you to earn more than what you are conditioned and expect to earn at a subconscious level. So if at a conscious level you want to earn more and have the lifestyle of your dreams and have choice freedom and financial freedom and fun, if you're not conditioned to believe that you're worth it, 
you will sabotage your success and you'll just have hopes and dreams. Does that resonate with any of you that are listening right now? Many years ago, when my first mentor asked me to um, write down my goals and dreams, um, I took the time at a luncheon. This is going back 40 years, believe it or not. And he said to me, he said, you know, what do you think is holding you back from achieving these goals and dreams? I said, I, I don't believe that I'm smart enough or good enough or worthy enough to achieve these goals and dreams. He says, well, what would have to happen in order for you to start believing that? And I said, I don't know. And that's when he started to show me how to reprogram my subconscious mind. And I'll show you in just a few moments on how to do that so that my goals and dreams and my beliefs and my self-image matched the goals and dreams that I had. If you don't have a match, you will never take the action to achieve it. If you take the action to achieve it, or even if you win the lottery, chances are that you will sabotage the success that you have. All right, so I'm seeing some comments in, in the chat. All right, so self uh, limiting beliefs was number one of the four hidden obstacles. Self image and self worth was number two. And then what about fear? Okay, what about fear? There are 50 different types of fears, 50, not five, 50 different types of fears that automatically trigger the sympathetic nervous system, which deactivates your motor cortex for taking action. Uh, it deactivates your thinking and creative center. It moves blood flow away from the parts of your brain required to be able to really be coherent and take action. What if you have a fear of failure? What if you have a fear of trying again and disappointing yourself? What if you have a fear of being embarrassed or a fear of being ashamed or ridiculed or of being judged? What if you have a fear of facing yourself if you try your best and you fail? See, what most people don't understand is when we have conscious or subconscious fears, then by default, the activation of the amygdala in the brain happens automatically and it puts the brakes on because your automatic reaction is to fight it to run away or to freeze and do nothing. That is how the system works. That is the sympathetic nervous system. What you need to learn how to do is how to recognize which fears are holding you back and then reframe them, release the emotional bondage that it has on you. Then you have to retrain your brain so that the fears don't control you, but that you turn your fear into your fuel for success. Because when you learn how to do that, you can actually take the cortisol and epinephrine and norepinephrine and actually use it to accelerate your behavior, to achieve your success faster and easier than ever before. But if you don't understand how your brain works, you see, you own the most powerful biocomputer in the entire universe but you don't have the user's, user's manual for it. And so if you don't have the user's manual for it, that would be like you know, having a car outside your driver, but you don't know how to drive. And even if you know how to drive, you know, there's obstructions to you driving because you haven't practiced to drive better. And so when you understand that the only limitations that are upon you right now are either A, self-imposed limitations, or B, because of your programming. Does this make sense so far? Because I'm gonna to get to the fourth one in just a second. I'm gonna give you a couple of techniques in order to um, work with some of these. Does that make sense? Let me see some comments. So I wanna make sure, would you believe that um, one time I, um, I was doing an event and I went for about an hour and 15 minutes only to find out that for about 45 minutes we had lost connectivity and I was talking for 45 minutes and nobody was listening. So I'm going to keep asking you if this makes sense, all right? <laughs> all right, so I got a bunch of yeses. Give me a yes, 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 yes. Makes sense, John. Oh, wow, love the combat collective beliefs. <laughs> all right, so, so, so far we've covered limiting beliefs hold you back. We have fears that hold you back. Self-image holds you back. Now, here is something to understand. Let's say you want to increase your income by 20% or 30 or 50 or 100% or 200%. It doesn't matter the amount. What if you have the goal and you have the vision of the lifestyle that you want, but you just don't know how to do it? What happens when you don't have the knowledge or the skills? Is it possible that in the absence of the knowledge or skills, 
that triggers our self-doubt muscle? Is it possible that our ignorance, not knowing, triggers a lack of certainty? And when we trigger a lack of certainty, this activates the stress and fear center in our brain and it deactivates the motivational center of the brain? Is it possible that not only the lack of knowledge or skill does that, but is it possible that fears do that? Is it possible that limiting beliefs do that? And is it possible that a self-image where you're not worthy enough or good enough or deserving enough does the exact same thing? Is it possible that this is what scientists refer to as neural dissonance in the brain? And when this happens, any one of these four things, you have a decrease in the genius part of your brain, the left prefrontal cortex, and you can see the blood flow on the left, okay? And you have an increase in the right frontal cortex all right, and what this means is that the, the, the genius, the wisdom, the GPS of your brain basically goes offline while the inner critic, the Einstein part of your brain, the genius part I call is your Einstein brain, the um, other part of your brain I call is the Frankenstein part of your brain, and this is the part of your brain that is connected to your memory bank that says, listen, last time you tried this, it didn't work. Um, uh, don't you know how Mary tried to do this and she failed miserably? Don't you know that they tried to do this and they lost their house or whatever the inner critic has access to in your memory bank, all of the memories and the resources from your past, this is exactly how your brain is turning on or off the neural circuits of motivation or fear, the neural circuit of confidence or uncertainty, the neural circuit of courage or fear. And so this is the, the neuroscience of this. This is why, you know, for the last 10 years, I've been on a, I guess on a quest, you know, I've helped hundreds of thousands of my students reprogram their subconscious minds by taking the latest in neuroscience and neuropsychology and saying, okay, Here's the user's manual, here's how to reprogram your brain. And so what happens when you don't do that, then you stay stuck and you're still hostage doing the same things over and over again. And here is what I want you to understand. If you stay in a stuck state, if you stay in a, in a scarcity state, if you stay in just a security state, which is an okay place to be, that becomes your comfort zone. And when you reach your comfort zone, your brain doesn't care whether you're happy or sad, whether it's a lot or a little. It just becomes the setting by which your brain operates and causes your perspective, your emotions, your expectations that drive your behavior. All right, so Marilyn says, oh my God, I need to reprogram yourself. Yes, absolutely. And so here is a little... Uh, tool for you. I'm going to give you a limiting beliefs buster. Okay, we don't have a lot of time to go through a lot of these today, but but the first thing that you can do, right? I want somebody to write this down: is awareness gives you choice, and choice gives you freedom. Awareness gives you choice, and choice gives you freedom. All right. So one of the guests is asking, what's number four? Number one is limiting beliefs. Number two is self-image and self-esteem, self-worth. Number three is fears. And number four is lack of knowledge and skills, which activates the stress response center in the brain. Okay. So if you have a limiting belief, what I want you to do is whether it's on your computer or on a sheet of paper, the first thing I want you to do is activate the motivational circuit of your brain. I want to activate the uh, creative and imagination side of your brain. And I'd love you to actually do this right here in the chat room right now. How much, forget about your knowledge and skills and fears and self-image and limiting beliefs right now. Forget about that for just a minute, okay? How much income would you love to earn, let's say in the next 12 months? How much income would you love to earn? Type it in for me right now or write it down on a sheet of paper. It doesn't matter how much it is, okay? How much, but I want you to dream. I don't want you to write down something that feels, you know, comfortable that you can achieve, all right? I want you to write down an amount, all right, that you'd really love to earn. So 
Somebody says a million, 10,000, 200,000, 85,000, a million, 250, 300,000. Hey there, Joshua from Winnipeg, a million, 150,000. Okay, so there's two parts to this, all right? So part number one, I want you to think about somebody that you love more than anybody else in the world, somebody or even a pet that is worth the world to you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't trade them for all the money in the world. Can you think of one person, okay? Can you think of one person that you love, 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 love? Got a name? Okay, if you wanna type it in, that's great. Now I want you to imagine this. Imagine if we said, okay, that number that you wrote down, okay, and shared with me in the chat, that is your goal for 12 months from now. If you don't reach that goal, you will never, ever, ever see that person again. Would you get rid of your limiting belief around not being good enough, not being smart enough? Would you get rid of your fears? Would you get rid of your, your um, self-image, thinking you're not smart enough? If the consequence of not doing it would mean that you would never see that person again? Would you upgrade your knowledge? Would you upgrade your skills? Would you learn whatever you needed to learn to earn that amount of money? See, look at the comments right now. Yes, oh yes, oh hell yes, wow. You know, I'd die, I'm sure. Well, you don't have to do that, but what I wanna show you is if you have the motive for the actions necessary, you will reprogram your subconscious mind with the right beliefs. You will reprogram your mind to not allow your self-image or self-esteem to hold you back. You will reprogram your mind not to have fears, whether it's fear of failure or success or disappointment, and you will upgrade your knowledge and skills. Is that correct or not? I see somebody saying, I'd be the boldest woman in the world. Oh yes, heck yeah. Benny, of course you would. Why? Because you created the environment where you must, right? You create the environment where you must, all right? And so I don't want you to have to create that much pressure on yourself because there's a much easier, safer, and better way to do it, to reprogram your brain. But here's the other thing that you can do on your own right now. If you have a limiting belief, okay? Let's leave that alone for just a moment and I want you to type in right now or write it in right now. In order to earn that amount of money in a month or in a quarter or in a year, what do you need to believe about yourself in order to make that probable in a reality? Type it in right now. What would you need to believe about yourself? Because obviously you don't believe it yet or you'd be earning that. So what would you need to believe about? Remember, beliefs are nothing more than neural networks. You didn't have any when you were born. You had, all right, um, neural networks. You all has potential and the cells united and, and, and coalesced and created these neural networks that became your beliefs. So what would you need to believe about yourself in order to earn? So somebody says that I am worthy. I can do it. I can take the brakes off, right? I have what it takes to make this happen. I have the knowledge. I have the skills, right? I can and I will. I'm reading your comments right now. I believe I can do it. Now, when we write out these beliefs, right, when we write them out, are we using our subconscious mind or conscious mind, right? Of course we're using our conscious mind. That's an explicit belief that I was talking about earlier, but how do you take this belief that may not be fully true right now, how do you take that belief and how do you impress it into your subconscious mind or reprogram your mind with that belief? And I'm just giving you one simple example, right? What about the simple, easy technique about using that belief as an affirmation. And let me give you the words. Are you ready? What if you use that belief as an affirmation and declaration? And I'll tell you what to do with it in just a moment. Start off the belief like this. I am so happy and grateful that I am now smart enough, good enough, uh, learning how to, to do it, 
uh, that I believe in myself, that I am worthy of achieving this goal. What if you just wrote a simple declaration, something that may not be true right now? Because the beliefs that you have right now were not true at one point either. You learned them. You discovered them. You believed them because of the references and experiences you had and the people around you. But what if you took something that's not true right now and what if you started to read or record this affirmation and you read it and listened to it every day for the next 100 days? What if you did that? Do you think... If you followed some of the neuroscience principles of taking a sentence, a paragraph, a word, and you started to prime your brain daily to reprogram your brain using this one affirmation, okay, and maybe you visualized it, maybe you really emotionalized it and felt it, and asked yourself, what really happens, you know, what needs to happen in order for me to believe this? According to one of the latest studies, that was published in the European Journal of Social Psychology by Philippa Lally and her colleagues, and this was at the University College in London. Here's what they discovered. It takes between, pay close attention, because we're talking about reprogramming your subconscious mind. It takes between 66 days and 365 days to change the deeply rooted patterns that you have right now. Not five days, not 21 days, not 18 days, for 66 days on average to 365 days. So what does that tell you? It tells you that if you're you know, 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 years old, you've been retraining your brain, reinforcing old patterns, many of which aren't right, many of which won't serve you. So you have to reprogram your subconscious mind with new patterns, new sentences, new emotions, new thoughts, new behaviors, and you want to make that the new default automatic mode. This, my friend, is called subconscious automaticity. It's the ability to do things without occupying the mind with the low levels detailed required to execute the thought or the belief or the emotion. It has to become an automatic response pattern or habit just as your automatic responses and beliefs and emotions and behaviors are automatic right now. And this requires you getting into a state of learning, getting into a state of managing your emotions, getting a state of repetition and practice to create those subconscious programs around your beliefs and emotional management and your behavior. Does that make sense? Does it make sense? Automaticity, automaticity, 66 days to 365 days. Anything less than that, you're just not being realistic and you're just not using the science um, of how to do it properly. And so if you wanna know the truth the truth about why so many people, maybe even you, are standing on the edge of your potential. It's not because you don't have the potential. It's not because you're not smart enough, good enough, or worthy. It's not that you can't learn how to manage your fears. It's that you have been programmed and conditioned into the state that you're in right now. Your settings are set. Your financial settings are set, locked, and loaded. And if you want to achieve more, if you want to achieve more of your potential that you know is inherent within you, then you've got to be able to break free from the settings and the controls at the subconscious level that are running your life. And most people confuse having goals and dreams with what it really takes to achieve them. Setting goals happens in your conscious mind, but achieving goals happens because of what's going on in your subconscious mind. And if your subconscious money story and your beliefs, as I mentioned before, are not aligned with your financial goals and desires, your brain will cause you to procrastinate, to waste precious time, and to sabotage your hours and days and weeks and months And pay attention to what I'm about to say. Regardless of how many books you read, how many courses you take, or how hard you work. If you don't, at the same time as you do those things, which is necessary, if you don't reprogram your subconscious mind, you are going to be a very literate, educated 
personal development junkie who's not achieving hers or his goals and dreams. This is what causes people to be stuck. And so knowing what you know now, can you see how reprogramming your subconscious mind holds the key to your financial and life success? Can you see that? Give me a little feedback in the little chat over here, right? So I see you can relate, yes. And so what I'd like to share with you, and, and, and I'll share with you some, some things that I think will help you, because I've worked with you know, hundreds of thousands of students, and, and you, you know this to be true, a brief training like this, or, or uh, reading a book or an event, isn't really gonna create the lasting change. Uh, because you're gathering the information at the conscious level and it gives you awareness and awareness of what's going to give you choice. But it's not going to change um, and create the life that you want. You need more than that. And while I've given you a ton today of incredible value, it's really the tip of the iceberg. And so I don't know about you, but if you're saying to yourself you want to go further and dive deeper into reprogramming your subconscious, I've come up with three choices that you have. Uh, number one, you can take what I've shared with you, all right, and uh, you can research and learn how to do all of what I've shown you how to do on your own. You can start to create a lot of this stuff on your own, and that is the least expensive way to do it, but it will take you probably the most amount of your time, probably six to 12 months of dedicated effort to do it at a very high level and with precision. And with this option, yes, you might be able to save some money, but you may end up making some very costly mistakes and go down the path of wasting a lot of time and it may not work perfectly. A second option, and some of my clients actually do this, uh, you can pay $5,000, $25,000 for private sessions with a variety of experts or one expert who will guide you and walk you through a few of these processes uh, one or two hours of their time, either in their office, via Skype, and this not only means that you're gonna take a lot of your time driving and it's gonna take some time, it also means you're gonna to have to try and fit into somebody else's schedule over the next six to 12 months. Now, this is doable. I have many, many clients that invest between 25,000 and a quarter of a million dollars to work with me privately to really focus on helping them with their specific sessions. And then the third, and this is what I believe um, and why I have so many followers around the world and companies and athletes that work with me and people just like you. And the smartest option I believe and the best one is for you to invest in yourself and in a structured comprehensive program that is extremely well researched and created by brain researchers and brain experts and more importantly, when you invest in a structured comprehensive program that has been proven to work over and over again in 50 countries and with almost 50,000 clients, you're giving yourself the ability to spread the risk and gain the most amount of content and user ability and results. So if you wanna figure out how to do this, it's one of those three options. And what I'm gonna suggest is you invest in yourself and if you want to go deeper with me, if you like my style of teaching and you like you know, what you see that I produce every single day out in social media and on our blogs and maybe through some other programs of mine, I want to introduce you to something that you may have heard of in the past. We've upgraded it for the next uh, you know, group of people that are coming in. We've made it better, faster, easier than ever before. And so the new Winning the Game of Money Brain Training and Coaching Program um, I've been working on for years to upgrade this with some of the leading brain experts in the world uh, and to be able to put it all online so you can access it um, on your mobile phone, on your iPad, on your computer and get the benefit of what I teach my $100,000 a year clients and many of my clients say that it is prescription strength to reprogram your subconscious mind. It is the most powerful program in the world to do this. And so all you need to be able to use the program is a cell phone, iPad, or computer, and some earbuds. It's really, really that simple. And what I've done in this particular program that we've upgraded, it includes three key components that'll help you break free from your current results 
and your current programming and help you succeed beyond your wildest dreams. And so some of the things that we've included is um, uh, eight powerful ways that we call the brain reprogramming or brain programming uh, inner size. So if you think of exercise as what you do to strengthen your muscles for your body and maybe your organs, think of inner size as a way to strengthen your neuro muscles, your neuro muscle of confidence, your neuro muscle of self-esteem, your neuro muscle of powerful beliefs, your neuro muscles of emotional management, your neuro muscles of certainty. There are tools that you can use, all right, uh, and in our program, there are 12 levels of inner sizes that include our proprietary brain activation technology. And we also use eight scientifically proven methods to help you access your subconscious mind so you can reprogram it with powerful beliefs, a new powerful self-image, and greater emotional control. And these techniques that you can see right now, all right, um, use hypnotherapy. So we know from a scientific basis that hypnotherapy is a great technique to be able to reprogram the subconscious mind. We know from the work that's being done with astronauts, athletes, and Navy SEALs that you can use visualization and mental contrasting to develop powerful beliefs, self-image, and emotional control. We know that we can use powerful affirmations and self-talk techniques to eliminate the negative self-talk and the inner critic. There are NLP techniques that are called reframing and anchoring techniques that are so powerful to take a new self-image, new beliefs, new habits, and new um, um, emotional control techniques to be able to anchor these positive emotions. So there are eight different ways that we know scientifically you're able to reprogram your subconscious mind. And in our program, that's 12 levels of inner sizes. Uh, they also come with brain retraining videos on how to be able to retrain your brain. So part one is our 12 level inner size brain training program. The belief that all of our clients have is, is that it is the most powerful program in the world to retrain your brain specifically for financial success. And it'll help you shatter your financial glass ceiling. Here is one of the beautiful things about inner size. You can inner size while you're working, while you're walking the dog, while you're exercising. Uh, it's fun, it's easy, it'll save time, and it'll challenge you as you progress from level one to 12. It only takes about one to 12, I'm sorry, about 20 to 30 minutes a day while you're doing other stuff. This picture here is actually pictures of several of our clients inner sizing while they are working, while they're doing anything else, all right? So um, that's that. The other thing that I can share with you is in the first few levels, I'm gonna show you how to identify uh, your current money story and then how to personalize it so you can incorporate it into your brain training. And every one of the inner sizes uh, and every one of the levels includes all of the technology to automatically impress and imprint to your subconscious mind the beliefs, the habits, the perspectives, and the emotions required to double or triple your income. And I'll show you some of the results of our clients from all over the world in just a moment. The other thing that I want to share with you is that money is obviously one thing that winning the game of money is all about. But this is more about who you become as an income earner, what freedom it gives you in the world to be able to earn more income and have more choice freedom and have more freedom to do what you want to do, to enjoy your life more and to help you become the person that you really want to become. The other thing that you will notice, and if you take a look at the image right now, once you log into your program, you're going to have 12 different levels to go through at your own pace, one a week. Uh, or one every two or three weeks, and it's totally up to you how fast or slow that you go. There's a little manual for each level, and you just follow the video training and the audio training and the manuals, and that is how the inner size part of this works. And so every 
day, there is something for you to do to upgrade your knowledge and your skills and to reprogram your subconscious mind, to break disempowering, destructive beliefs patterns and habit patterns. And you're gonna learn how to visualize and emotionalize your financial success. And the question you may be asking is why? And the answer is because when you can visualize, you're accessing your subconscious mind. When you're emotionalized, you can access your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between something real or imagined. So when you start to imagine earning more money, when you start to feel it, that's when you're going to start to see yourself acting in ways that resonate with your financial goals and dreams. This program will help you upgrade your self-worth and your self-image. This will help you eliminate disempowering stories and excuses. It'll help you release any fears you have around yourself and your ability to earn money. It'll help you let go of limiting beliefs and it'll help you let go of any past negative emotions or traumas that may be holding you back. And as you do this, you're gonna learn how to install powerful new beliefs or actually the, the technology, the inner sizes, will actually do it for you. This is a done with you model. So you don't have to figure it out. We've invested a ton of time and money in order to help you put on your earphones, listen to the inner sizes, do the activities that are required, and watch what happens. It'll show you money-making opportunities like you've never seen before. It'll help you gain more focus, and more importantly, it'll help you eliminate any of your old programming that's standing in the way of your goals and keeping you on the edge of your potential. Can you imagine yourself letting go of any of the conditioning or programming that's holding you back, and can you imagine yourself achieving your goals faster and easier than ever before? Because if you can, I know this program works, and I know what this can mean to you and your family when you show up as the best version of yourself. This program is so much more than just about the money. It's all about the person you become that is confident and calm and proud and in control and happy and healthy, fully able to live your life to the fullest before you die. And many of our clients tell us, as much as they um, uh, thought that they were buying a winning the game of money program, this was really a program about winning the game of life. Now I'm gonna show you, okay, that this program, just the inner sizes alone, all right, the value of those is $1,497. Now, this has been scientifically created, and compared to the $75,000 that it cost us to create, it's a bargain, and compared to the millions of dollars that our clients have earned as a result, it's a steal. Now, you're not gonna invest this much money, but I wanna give you two more things that are critical for you to be able to make this next 12 months your very best ever. Many of you know that I get a chance to interview and to work with some of the leading brain experts in the world. Over the last couple of years, I have had these experts create programs just for Neurogym, my company. And so I have over 100 videos, tr video trainings on making more money, on getting out of debt, on making money in a business, making money if you're an employee, on managing your emotions better, on time management, on just about every topic that you can think of, it's in this library. This library is literally worth a you know, million dollars when you apply it. I'm gonna give you access to this Netflix-like library with over a hundred of these videos that you can access on demand. And imagine, what would you invest for a hundred programs right now? I want you to think about what have you invested in just one program in the past? I'm gonna give you access to a hundred of them. Some of my best content is in there that I teach my high paying customers, but also I've got people like David Bach, who's a New York Times best-selling author, um, teaching about uh, how to uh, get out of debt, invest wisely, to achieve financial freedom. I've got rule number one, brilliant guru, Phil Town, that gives our clients some of the best training he's got. Plus, believe it or not, I've got two tickets to his live event as a bonus that he's given anybody who buys this program tonight from us. 
all right? And his programs are unbelievable about investing in the marketplace. We've got Dr. Joan Rosenberg, one of the leading experts on emotions and self-esteem and confidence. There's people like this. The value of this program is easily $5,000, easily $5,000. I believe it's worth a million dollars, but we just put a value on it of $5,000. I'm gonna give you access to that for six months. I want you to imagine for just a moment that you don't have to buy another personal development program for the next 12 to 18 months. Everything will be at your fingertips. The video training you need to overcome any obstacle and the answer that you need to every question about earning more money, managing your time, getting out of debt, investing wisely. It's truly a masterpiece collection. It has taken us five years and over $100,000 to create. Now, that's not all I'm going to give you, all right? Many people know, and I mentioned to you, you know, what my investment is for clients to work with me personally, but what I did for um, many of my clients who want to get started with me and want to get coached by me is I created something called the Exceptional Life Coaching Program. And what I'm going to give you access to is three months in my Exceptional Life Coaching Program, which includes, pay close attention, seven live coaching and training programs a month, live, just like this one. There's no selling of anything, it's just pure content. So for the next three months, you're gonna get access to 21 live sessions with me, some of them, and with our other brain and success experts, world-leading experts like Dr. Sweeney Pillay from Harvard, Sarah Mackay from Oxford, Dr. Heidi Hanna, Dr. Uh, um, Heidi Handler, Mark Waldman, our resident neuro coach, I've assembled some of the top experts in the world as part of our faculty, and you're gonna gain access to 21 trainings between me and Mark and some of the other experts. What is that worth to you? Imagine you know, finishing your plans to achieve your goals in the next 30 days. Imagine eliminating the obstacles that are holding you back. What do you think you could achieve if every one of your questions was answered and your plans were solidified? You're going to be able to ask me and our live or our other experts questions. This is an unparalleled program, all right, for you to be able to participate in. And guess what? If you happen to miss a session, we record every single one of the sessions and we put them into your members area so you could watch them, listen to them anytime. And we include all the PowerPoints. We include all the little manuals that go with each one of the training sessions. So that is something you get, but you also are gonna get access to our online private community. I'm in our online Facebook community, it's private, every single day answering questions. Every day I'm there working with our members. And so if you want to become you know, uh, part of a group of people who are on the same page and path as you, who will support and encourage you as, as you support and encourage them. And if you want to build a life of happiness and prosperity, where you learn from each other, you celebrate success together, and you help each other, that's what this is all about. You'll see some live you know, um, screenshots of our members just a asking questions and getting answers. We are in there every single day with our ambassadors, our experts, and with me as well. And so here is what I can share with you. You know, when you work together in a group, when you get coached by me and Mark Waldman on our hot seats, which we use video conferencing for, where members from all over the world chime in and ask questions and watch us put people in hot seats and work specifically with their opportunities or challenges. We solve their problems right there. What I can share with you is when we work together and we lift as we climb together through daily inspirational posts, proven tips for achieving your goals and an amazing support network, um, it's gonna change your life drastically. The Cost or the investment for this Exceptional Life Coaching Program alone is $500 a month or $1,500. And what I can share with you is that if you were going to hire a group of experts to help you change your limiting beliefs, okay, help you get rid of your disempowering thoughts, uh, you'd pay enormous amount of money, $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, $20,000.
What I can share with you is people are training their brains to improve their lives, to earn more money right now. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that once you get your hands on this program, not only will you break free from any of your past limitations, you will start to achieve more in the next three to six months than you've achieved in a very, very long time. And this is your chance to finally stop disappointing yourself, stop standing on the edge of your potential, and give yourself the best chance ever for rising and becoming all that you are meant to become. You're on this brain, or you're on this um, webinar that we're doing right now because you know that you're capable of achieving more, but something has been holding you back. Am I right? I think I am, because here's what I'm going to do for you right now. The total value of everything I've just shared with you so far, all right, the 12 level inner size brain training program is $1,497. The six month access to the million dollar success library is worth $5,000. The three month access to the exceptional life coaching is $1,500. And that is a total value of $7,997. And that would be a bargain. It would make total sense for me to offer that at $7,997 and it would still be worth it. But I love to reward people who act boldly and take action immediately because those are the types of people who actually use the program to get the amazing results. And so here's what I'm gonna do for the first 50 people who take action right now. I'm gonna give you a couple of additional bonuses in just a second. For the first 50 people who click on the link and take action right now, you've got a couple of options. Invest right now and make one payment of $997 today and you own the brain training audio program. You get access to the Million Dollar Success Library and you get access to the coaching. What I can do is guarantee this price till midnight tonight and guarantee the bonuses till midnight tonight. You can use your credit card and pay a checkout and you're gonna have a couple of options. If you wanna make one payment of $997 right now, that's your best value. And if you want to take advantage of this program and not pay anything for six months, take the program, use it, make more money, get rid of the limiting beliefs, get rid of the fears, get rid of the self-image issues, and start to make more money. You can pay later as long as you go through the PayPal option and there's no payments or interest for six months. And you've got to qualify. Those are PayPal rules. And that is something that you can do right now. If you want us to finance this for you, then you can get started right now for just one payment of $397 plus two additional payments, one in 30 days and one in 60 days of $397. And you are going to get access to the entire program, the videos, the audios, the library, the coaching, the support in the community. And here is something that I've shared with you before. It's conveniently laid out as you can see so that you can use it on your smartphone, your iPad, or your phone. It's literally the success you want in the palm of your hand. And what I want you to do is start participating in all of our live trainings um, starting tomorrow, all right? Something that I know you're gonna appreciate. I've got a 100% love it or your money back guarantee. What does this mean? It means I'm gonna take all the risk. Why do I do this? Well, because I want you to succeed. I don't want you to have any barriers or fears that it may not work for you. I want you to get started right now. Retrain your brain. Reprogram your subconscious mind. Reap the rewards and the benefits of how you'll feel and what you'll achieve. And if it's not for you, just give us notice within 30 days and you'll get 100% of your money back. And for those of you who act right now, I created something that is worth its weight in gold. It's called the Five Pillars of Financial Success Video Training Program. I've taken the absolute best, okay, of what I've learned about making money, earning is what I call it, investing, protecting, using debt wisely, and getting out of debt, and managing money, and I put it into a video program. It is going to be a bonus that I am giving you when you take action right now. I want you to imagine knowing exactly what to do to double or triple your income. Is I'm going to show you. I'm going to want to. 
I get so excited about this because I see the results that our clients are getting where they didn't know what to do and now they know how to get out of debt. Now they know how to make more money, whether they, um, they're retired, whether they have a job or they have a business. My goal is to make it easy for you to apply what you're learning so you could see immediate results and you will become so much smarter around the main components of money. And this is what's gonna give you the confidence and certainty to double or triple or quintuple your income. Here is the key. You've gotta upgrade your knowledge and skills to match the level of income that you want to earn. So I'm gonna give you that as a bonus. Here's another bonus I'm gonna give you. When you take action and become part of NeuroGym right now, this is a super uh, bonus, I call it. I'm gonna give you an additional three months membership in the Exceptional Life Group Coaching Program, and that's worth $1,500. And that makes the total coaching you're gonna get, you're gonna get um, six months of live coaching. That's over 40 live trainings with me and our other experts. Plus, you're gonna get six months in the community for daily support. So you're gonna get daily support, you're gonna get weekly trainings, you're gonna get access to the library, you're gonna get access to the brain training audios, and you're gonna get access to the best program in the world to reprogram your subconscious mind, upgrade your knowledge and skills, and give you the support that you need to take inspired action daily. Here's what I can tell you. Together we can do this, and I want you to imagine growing more in the next six months than you've grown in the last three to five years. And you'll finally take action as you challenge yourself to grow, all in a very supportive environment with other people from around the world being coached by me and other experts who have one thing in common, helping you take action to achieving your financial and life goals, helping you become more confident, more certain, and more in line with your potential. Here is a little recap for you. This entire program, if you were to buy it elsewhere or separately, all right, the 12 level inner size brain training audios, the six months access in the Million Dollar Success Library, the six months access in the Exceptional Life Coaching Program, the five pillars of financial success, I'm sure you have seen and maybe have even joined other coaching programs that don't offer a fraction of what this has for 13 or $14,000. And so we've made this super, super simple for you. We've created a package for you that's just incredible. The first 50 people to take action, the payment or investment in yourself is $997. You've got a buy it now, pay later in six months, use all of the tools, make more money, or make one investment of $397 today, and then two additional payments of $397. Just to put that into perspective, okay, it's an investment of less than $6 a day, all right? You probably spend more than that on coffee and other stuff that you don't need. Now, don't just take my word for it. Let me show you some of our clients um, that have sent us their comments. Uh, this is from Raphael. He says, thank you, John and Nurgen, for contributing to the fun and amazing life I've lived since I joined the Winning Game of Money program. I've learned a lot, got my dream job, made lots of money, doubled it twice, and made good friends, and now I'm having fun and amazing experiences. That's from Raphael. Anya says, when I started with the Winning Game of Money program, I wasn't even sure that I would be able to make my payments. She bought it on a payment plan. Now, I've more than doubled my income, paid off my car, and built a comprehensive online program for weight loss with a friend. Drew Anna says, last year I was struggling with money. After using Winning the Game of Money program, I've made over $60,000 in the past three months. I'm in total on one. Thank you, John, from the bottom of my heart. Lazo he was a retired engineer. I've completely, I've completed winning the game of money in 12 weeks. Literally, I've made it from zero to a hero. I've doubled my best year ever. It was critical to improve my confidence, habits, and beliefs. Thank you, John Asraf, all the experts and dedicated NeuroGym team for creation of the absolute unique, powerful programs. Um, here's what I'm gonna share with you. I'm basically guaranteeing your success. Now, what do I mean by that? I want you to get started right now. And I want you to 
get started with the winning game of money, um, winning the game of money brain training and coaching program. And I'm gonna shoulder all the risk. Love it or your money back. My intention is to eliminate any stress or hesitation that you may feel by taking all the risk for you. Your risk is literally zero. You know, Neurogym has been around for 10 years. We're not going away. You're gonna get an entire 30 days to experience this life altering system. If for any reason you're not satisfied, just let us know. I prefer to keep you as a friend and as a client. Maybe one of our other programs will work for you. It really doesn't get any more fair than that. So I don't know about you, but what I'd love you to consider, if you haven't yet made a decision to join, I want you to take a short mental walk with me, all right? Let's take a short mental walk with me. And I want you to imagine two scenarios. In scenario one, you don't take action today to reprogram your subconscious mind and you keep chugging along doing what you've been doing all along, achieving what you've been achieving. And let's say three years go by and not much has changed. It's more of the same, except you still have the same goals and dreams you have today, but you're achieving the same results. How does that make you feel? Are you okay with that result? Because that result is possible, right? In the second scenario, imagine you take action right now. You start using the Win the Game of Money program today. And in the next 30 to 60 days, you've already eliminated a few of your biggest mental and emotional obstacles and you feel so empowered and on purpose. You almost don't even recognize yourself. A year from now, you've achieved one or two, let's just say one or two of your big goals, and you are well on your way to achieve the life you've always dreamed of. How does that feel? One is more of the same. One is your potential realized. One is you standing on the edge of your potential for the next year, two, three, and one is you reaching your potential. Here's what I can share with you. You're faced with one of those two decisions today. The first decision is the easiest. Do nothing. Don't take a leap of faith. Don't invest in yourself and in winning the game of money brain training program and settle for what you have now and get what you've always got. This decision may also have you going further and further behind as you allow fear to hold you hostage. You allow your old self-image to hold you hostage. You allow your self-esteem and your limiting beliefs to hold you hostage for many more months or years. And you allow the lack of knowledge and skills to ruin your confidence and certainty. The question is, is that what you really want? Or do you wanna make the second choice to make a small investment of time and yes, some money in yourself? And I say small because that's what it is compared to the value you gain in return. Give yourself a shot, the best shot and possibility ever. If, if it works for you, keep it. If it doesn't, I'll give you your money back. It's no big deal for me. Either way, you've invested in yourself. You've made you a priority. That in itself will build your self-confidence because you're saying to yourself, I'm worth it. I'll give this a shot. And I've seen people better off doing that than doing more of the same. So do nothing and get nothing or get started today and see the changes in your life in as little as the next 48 hours. I'm gonna share with you that the, the investment in yourself is so small compared to the benefits. And I know that for some people that cost may be an issue or cost is uh, playing in your head right now. That's your money story acting up that we talked about earlier. And that makes total sense. And you need to know that you're making a wise investment versus a cost, right? And here's what I've discovered over the years. It's not how much something costs that you should be focused on. It's not the fear of losing it because I've taken all the risk out of it, but what you should be focusing on, what's the value you're getting in exchange for the money you use to get it? So successful people focus on value. Unsuccessful people focus on costs. And so we live in a world of exchange, right? And so you've watched this entire presentation. And I know 
for many of you, you want to finally break free and you want to achieve the lifestyle of your dreams. I'm ready to coach you. I'm ready to help you reprogram your subconscious mind. And I know that you know this is excellent value. And so imagine the freedom that this can give you. Imagine the results you'll experience when you have self-confidence and imagine what your life will be like with less worry, less stress, and less fear where you're finally achieving your goals, you're finally reaching your potential, and you're finally doing more of what you love to do and want to do to live the lifestyle you've always wanted to live. How does that do for your self-worth and self-esteem? Does it lift you up? Of course it does. Imagine what your life will be like when you step up courageously and you commit to your success. My first mentor says you're either going to be interested and you come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't or you're going to be committed and you do whatever it takes. You upgrade your knowledge, your skills, you develop the beliefs necessary and the habits and behaviors necessary to achieve the goals of your dreams. Which one is it going to be for you? Interested or committed? It's only people who are committed that achieve their goals and dreams. Everybody else watches them and wonder, what are they doing differently than me? And the answer is everything. So, I've been doing this for a long, long time. I've put together the most comprehensive program in the world. Raving fans all over the world. If you're still watching this, and you've not yet got over to our 100% secure order page, I want you to take 30 seconds and really check in with yourself. Like what's really stopping you? Is it a limiting belief? Is it a fear? Is it a story or excuse that you're telling yourself? Like what's really stopping you? Because that's what's always stopping you. Money is only an issue if you don't place a higher value on something else. Many years ago, somebody asked me, what would I do if somebody slashed my tires and I didn't have money? I said, I'd borrow money to get tires because I need tires. If you can't see that this is what you must have to reprogram your subconscious mind and to get into an environment where you can rise and break free from any of the things that are holding you hostage, then you're not playing enough, you're not placing enough value on yourself and on your life and the value of your life and having the mental, emotional, spiritual, financial freedom. If you, like some people, are hesitating about investing in winning the game of money, you might be afraid of making a mistake. Well, where else are you afraid of making a mistake? You might be afraid of wasting your, your money, but you're not wasting your money because I'm gonna take all the risk. What if, Winning the Game of Money is another program that you end up not using. What if you're wrong? These are all valid concerns that you may be thinking about. And that's why I've given you a 100% love it or money back guarantee. You're going to know in the next week or two whether this is going to work for you or not. You're going to participate and give yourself the best shot. And here's what you're going to discover. That those fears may have been real now. That you know, little rationalizations or negative self-talk right now may have been real now, but holy mackerel, what a massive change when you commit to yourself, when you let go of all the stuff that's been holding you back for as long as you felt something is holding you back. You've got a choice right now to stay in your comfort zone, keep thinking and feeling and doing what you're doing, keep allowing those disempowering emotions and thoughts to control you or rise above them, become bigger than them, step into your power, step into a proven program that works. Push yourself outside of your comfort zone right now. One year from now, you will wish that you had started today. You have an opportunity to start today Give yourself the best shot ever. It's 100% love it or your money back. No questions asked. Let me show you a couple more things. Click on that button, get started, choose the payment plan that is best for you. Take a look at what Nancy says. I'm gaining more and more awareness of my old money story and replacing it with a new one. I earned 
extra income this year by working my business alongside of my full-time career and pay down $20,000 of credit card debt. I have a big two-year plan and make it come true. Gina says, I was only earning 60% of what I needed to live well. Then I bought the Winning Game of Money program. I've already doubled my previous year's income in just six months. So many great things in just one program. Gracias. Chris says, after being fired from my job as a bank manager, I felt lost and was scared not knowing how I was going to take care of my family. I'm now earning over $20,000 a month and my family is safe and I'm thriving. Thanks, Neurogym. Emmanuel, a year ago when I bought Winning the Game of Money, I was pretty down mentally, emotionally, and financially, but I wanted to change my life. I went from being a single freelance photographer to being a CEO with a team of 10 photographers working for me. And I earn in three months now what I usually earn in a good year. Thank you, David Emmanuel. Pre says, I started the Winning the Game of the Program after quitting my job, I was stuck at the same income level for quite a while. And in less than six months, I was able to double my salary to a six-figure income, which, six which I have sustained for over the past year. I just want to say this stuff works. I can show you another 500 of these, a thousand of these that we've accumulated over the years. But the one I want right now is yours. I want you to get started. I want you to apply what I know works and what tens of thousands of clients know works. And I want you to be my next success story. I want you to send me your photo. I want to send, I want you to send me the amount of money you've made. I want to send me the lifestyle you're living. I want you to send me the debt that you've paid down. And I want you to send me more than all of that how you feel confident and certain and powerful as a human being. Your investment, just $9.97. This is your last chance to take action and lock in the price, the bonuses, and everything that I've included today. I hope you have enjoyed our presentation. I hope you have taken action and that you really are doing what you need to do in order to achieve the lifestyle of your dreams. Because that's the only way that you are going to be able to make this work. So click on the link, get started. Let me and my team coach you. You will be the happiest person in the world, not just right now when you make the decision, but in the next 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and as you achieve one great result after another, you'll probably wonder, why didn't I do this sooner? So take action right now. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Have a great day, depending on where you are in the world. And I look forward to hearing your amazing success and seeing you in our private community tomorrow.